Awesome. All right. Well, welcome back to Covenant Therapy Marriage Ministry. I'm Janine. I'm Tere. And tonight we have a juicy, not quite juicy uh, episode for you tonight. Um, I say that jokingly. It, I think it's good. I think it's. I think it's solid. I think it's helpful. I think everybody has experienced this scenario. I think it's definitely going to be helpful. You yeah. know, to people who are experiencing what. You know, we're going to be sharing or not understanding tonight. Yeah. what they're experiencing. Mm -hmm. So tonight we're going to talk about filters. So what do I mean by a filter? I guess let me start with that. Um, a filter is essentially um, basically sort of like a uh, block in your hearing. So the sender sends a message. There's this filter that sort of filters out what you receive and the receiver receives it differently than the sender intended for it to be received and so a lot of times we get those um, filters built up based on some different past experiences mm -hmm. some hurts some you know unkind statements or even things you think about yourself and um so tonight so it's really important so tonight um we're going to talk about filters we're going to talk about the, the the effects that filters can have on a relationship mm -hmm. and then we're going to talk about how you can resolve that if you find yourself wearing a filter or two um, how you can resolve that um, so again filters are sort of like I think beer goggles people talk yeah. about beer goggles yeah. when you you put on your beer goggles you've had a couple you know drinks in you and now people look maybe a little different, a little different. I say they look a little better because that sort of what people have said, you know, anyway, they think somebody is prettier or more handsome. And then the next morning they're like, whoa, you look a little different than I remember because you're wearing your beer goggles or even like your rose colored glasses, mm -hmm. which, you know, essentially you have a rosy disposition. So every, even negative um, situations look positive to you because um, you're wearing those rose colored glasses. It's the same principle. It's just hearing through a filter versus wearing some glasses. Yep. And it has happened before. <laughs> And probably will happen again. <laughs> okay. And so um, I guess a good example that we can um, draw from, because we've done this on previous episodes, so yeah. it's, we'll just high level it, but um, a filter that we actually had um, our personal selves was um, nagging. So I used to be a, a bit of a nag um, I wasn't trying to be, I just developed that bad characteristic over time. So I was a little naggy. Um, so he was really used to, um, or it was very accustomed to me nagging. So even after I started to change those habits, those behaviors, those, you know, the tone of voice, the body language, all of that, after I changed all of that, Tere still heard through like this filter of nagging. He still heard me nagging, even though I wasn't nagging anymore. And so we had to work through that. And so ever since we've done that, really, that has helped a lot in that department. Mm -hmm. But then there are all kinds of other filters that um, that we're, we're going to talk about, you know, that could be affecting people. And again, it's, it's just a few filters. There's a ton. I mean, because really a filter is based off of your experience. So we hear through our experience. That's right. essentially, you know, what a filter is. So um, do you want to talk about some of the filters? Yeah, I mean, you can create your own filter through rejection. Mm -hmm. um, if you've ever felt rejected before, um, you know, and there's so many different things that can go along with that, yeah. you know, but then there's also um, victim. If you've ever been a victim, you know, you mm -hmm. can perceive everything as a victim, the pity party mm -hmm. sort of thing mm -hmm. that goes on with yeah, people. But, oh, woe is me. Yeah, yeah. yep. Mm -hmm. And somebody could be trying to help you and your filter is like, why? You think I can't do it? You know what I mean? Right, or, right. You know, I can't take care of myself. You know, and that's such a good getting, one, actually. You know, uh, offended easily, yes. you know, because mm -hmm. of stuff like that. Um, there's also self centeredness, um, and that's, you know, just all about you, right? Yeah, everybody you know, else is the problem. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, there's anger, you know, um, there's uh, know it all, you know, mm -hmm. that's a big one. You yeah. Know, that's a big one. Um, Where you think the other person is the know it all, so everything they say is basically, I'm trying to tell you, mm -hmm. you know, instead it's, of. Yeah somebody trying to help you and you receiving it as help it's yeah. you know uh, but there's other things that go into that talk about all that later right you know but it's just that filter and how it's being received um, mothering yeah 
Yes. You know. Some um, people tend to mother, smother, hover. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then when all of that stops, you know, it still seems like, okay, look, I already got one mama, you know, what I'm right, saying? And right. I don't need you to, you know, just, you know, back up, you know, that's another one. And uh, correction, mm-hmm. you know, everything could seem like correction when it may be once again, trying to help or give, uh, you know, friendly advice, you know, even some creative criticism. Yeah. You know, uh, that you may be doing something wrong, but you just take it wrong. Right. Because you just feel like, why are you trying to correct me all the time? Yep. You know, and that's sort of something that we've gone through before, mm-hmm. too, you know, as well as the, the nagging thing. So, yeah, you know, true. very important, very important to be able to recognize these things Huge. and be honest and be truthful with yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, if you feel like you may be listening through a filter and if the other person, you know, your spouse is saying, hey, you know, I didn't mean it that way. Mm-hmm you know, then maybe you should step back and say, okay, maybe there's something wrong with me, you know, mm-hmm. in the way that I'm receiving, you know, the information that you're giving or whatever is going on in this situation. Yeah, especially as it, if it's happening multiple times, if you notice there's sort of this pattern mm-hmm. of, you know, how you're receiving that information. Yeah. If somebody has to keep saying it to you, probably there's something else going on. There. Right, because you don't want to draw a, a yeah, wedge right. in between you two. Yep. And if you're already dealing with the filter, yep. there's nine times out of ten, there's always, I mean, already a wedge there. Yeah. You know, and so that doesn't help with healthy communication, mm-hmm. you know, because of this faulty filter that you may be That's listening right. through or receiving information through. You know, so you, you if you're experiencing this, you do want to be able to identify this, you know, as fast as possible, you know, and start to work through it. You yeah. know, you do want to work through it so that you don't disrupt the communication, you know, and you also don't want to form uh, bitterness or anger or resentment, you know, towards your mm-hmm. spouse or really towards anybody, you know, who's trying to actually be there for you and help you or just be a friend, you know, to you. Mm-hmm. No, I agree. And just like you said, it drives a wedge. So we can basically move into that piece of the episode is where, you know, some of the devastating effects that it can have. So it disrupts communication, which you said. Mm-hmm. It drives that wedge. Mm-hmm. Um, it can create a gap or expand a gap that already exists. That is true. That's um, true. Because, you know, I think... I think what we noticed is probably like the other person gets on under your skin a little bit right. different than normal. Like, you know, because, okay, first of all, we're all in this COVID pandemic thing together. Everybody's sort of been on lockdown here and there, um, you know, different levels, different degrees. You know, a lot of people are working from home. So, you know, we work from home. Our offices are right next to each other. Right. We work from home. And so we're with each other all the time, pretty much 24-7. Um, which is great. And I think we get along pretty good considering we're together all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, however, you know, when we start getting underneath each other's skin um, in an abnormal fashion, <laughs> that's when we, you know, should really start looking at, um, hey, maybe something else is going on here. And that's pretty much what we've done. And um, Hey, guys, if you like the content that we bring to each week and want to help us spread the word, we're asking that you subscribe to our YouTube channel or our audio content on your favorite podcast platform, like each episode, leave comments and reviews, and share with your friends and family. Yeah, so when you subscribe, like, and share, it triggers the behind the scenes algorithms that gives our content visibility to reach more people. So this is a great way you can help us to build our audience and share the good info we bring to you each week. That's right. And now back to our regularly scheduled program. So it's really important to recognize the issue it's really important to recognize that there is an issue right that you know it's not the other person's fault necessarily but you both need to go back and say wait a minute you know why am i reacting the way that i'm reacting right could there be a filter and then um i think too um some of the ways that you can recognize if you have a filter you know we talked about a couple of them you know Mm -hmm. getting under each other's skin a little bit or um, misreading a situation or misreading a comment or a statement or yeah. Um, yeah, if your spouse says something to you and you just you just overreact <laughs> you know why are you overreacting right. you know go back to one of the things that we've talked about you know and one of the things that you you uh, express you know when we're doing um, helping other couples mm-hmm. is always think about what you're thinking so about big, yeah. in that instance why did you blow up Mm-hmm. You know, what was going through your mind that caused you to blow up and overreact, right. you know, over somebody saying something to you? What is the issue that you have with that person? Mm-hmm. Especially if you have to be honest with yourself again, mm-hmm. if they didn't approach you in a uh, in a threatening manner, mm-hmm. 
you know, but they said something to you and it just sets you off. Why did it set you off? Mm-hmm. Why did you blow up? You know, yeah. you, you need to investigate those things. I agree. Yep. You know, uh, if you want to just have a healthy relationship, uh, you know, with anybody, you need to understand yourself. Why did you blow up? you know, with that. So that's a great indication that there may be something there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, argumentative, being real argumentative, you know, that back and forth, you know, trying to prove your point, yeah. um, things like that. Um, and then also, you know, so we said misreading, but there's mm-hmm. also misinterpreting. Mm-hmm. Um, and if, if you notice a pattern of doing that, then you, there's probably a filter going on. And it probably stems from either a hurt that you, um, you know, that it could be something that's been in you even since a child. You know, yeah. I, a lot of us come up with a lot of insecurities um, as we're growing up. You know, kids are mean, bullying you. You know, they pick out your, your imperfections yes. and blow them up as you're growing up. And so we carry a lot of that with us into adulthood and into our relationships. You know, or, you know, what if you had rough times early in your relationship? And so some of that stuff where you think you've dealt with it, and maybe you really haven't. Yep. Um, so there's just things like that, um, just experiences. Again, random statements that can be held on to. I mean, and that's why it's important to be mm-hmm. careful what you say in the middle of an argument. You, you can't... Somebody gave me this um, illustration. It was so good. It Words are like toothpaste. Once you squeeze that toothpaste out of the, the tube, you can't put it back in. Mm. You have to be so careful with your words because even if you apologize... They already go forth and do what they're spent to do. Right. You said that thing in anger, it's already on a mission. It's right. like an arrow. It's like a bullet. It's already on a mission. You can't pull it back. And so you have to just be really careful when you're saying things. You be, don't say something you're going to wish you could take back later because you won't be able to. Right. You may be able to um, ask for forgiveness. You may be able to apologize. But but sometimes that damage is done, and it just it, it may take years to uh, resurface and and have to be you know you'll it'll crop back up later you know right. just just be mindful it, it it's something to be very um, careful about right and also if you know that your spouse or a friend or whoever that you may be speaking to or dealing with has certain insecurities right you know um, I, I'll just expose myself for a minute you know there there are times where I make mistakes believe it or not. What? You know, and sometimes it gets on my nerves when I make mistakes. And so if, if you know, like you've done it, like when you're trying to mm-hmm. correct me or show me that there was something that was wrong, you know, I get upset, mm-hmm. you know, with that because I think, okay, you're getting on me for my, because I already feel that way about myself. Mm-hmm. So that's a perfect example of how that filter, you know, mm-hmm. has caused the wedge, you know, in that, in that part of our relationship because of the way I receive it, because of the way I feel about myself, Mm -hmm. you know? So if you're already beating yourself down about something and somebody says something to you Mm -hmm. and you react to what they said, that's why is because you're listening through that filter of hurt Mm -hmm. within yourself. And so it's not their fault. It's something that you need to work with or work through. And if you have a a spouse who's willing to work through it with you, Mm -hmm. then you need to be able to explain this to your spouse. And then you guys help work through it together. Right, yeah. Because in the scenario that he's referring to, my intention is to help. Right. But it doesn't, It I send it that way, but it doesn't get received that way in right. the scenario. So. Right, right. Yeah. You know, and then there's, you know, you're, you're, there's body language involved. There's tone of voice involved. There's, mm-hmm. there's all of these other things, but you won't get to the bottom or the root of it until you discuss it. Mm-hmm. You have to be able to discuss it because you mm-hmm. don't want to create a much larger gap in your relationship right. than what's already there, right. especially for something that can be dealt with and moved out of the way easily. Yes. You know, if you yes. just are able mm-hmm. to, to uh, uh, be upfront with it and talk about it and get it out of the way. No, that's great. And actually, great segue because now we're going to talk about if you feel like, based on our discussion, that, okay, I probably have this filter thing going on, um, I hear what you're saying, I recognize it in me or I recognize it in my spouse, you know, what can you do about that when you're wearing a filter? What can you do about that? So I would say, number one, you already mentioned it, think about what you're thinking about. Mm-hmm. It's so important to understand yourself. Um, they call it emotional intelligence. Intelligence, yeah. Uh-huh. And it's really important to know yourself well. When you do something, when you say something, when you react to something, when you receive something, why? Why did I say that? Why did I react like that? Why did I take that in like that? Why? 
understand the why well because of why because of why ask yourself five whys and see what you get to that usually gets you at least to the root by by the fifth why you should definitely be at the root if not before mm -hmm. but i mean you know why and that is a huge help when you're trying to get to the root of the filter um because that's how you're going to solve the problem is getting to the root you're never you're never going to get to the you're, you're never going to solve the problem the filter will never for real go away until you deal with the root of it yeah so Yep. And then once you've done that, you can move on to number two and engage in that open, honest dialogue. So where you're able to, in a safe space, we mm -hmm. talk about that, in a yeah. safe space, where you can say, this is how I feel when you say that. And then it gives the other person a chance to hear that and be like, well, that's not what I mean at all. You know, I really don't mean it like that. And I'm so sorry you're receiving it that way. Um, and then that person that's receiving it can say, oh, all this time I thought, you thought X, Y, and Z. Right. It's so important to have that conversation. Mm -hmm. um, and we've just done that recently. And it, it was, it was I guess, eye-opening to some of the things that we both said. Like, really? Like, that's what you think? Because mm -hmm. I don't think like that at all about you. Um, and back, you know, back and forth. And so um, it's, it's really important, you guys, to have those open, open dialogue. honest, safe Be honest. Yeah, be honest. Share and your feelings. Yep. In that moment of, of conversation, if you're, you know, if and when your spouse comes to you with something like that, mm -hmm. that's not the time to defend yourself, mm -mm, you no. know, for what you're saying. Well, what I really meant or this is what well, you did. It, that, that's not the time for all of that, because that will cause that other person more than likely to either shut down mm -hmm. and not want to communicate with you any longer because they're trying to come to you with an issue and mm -hmm. they want to resolve it, you know, or it'll just go into a big argument and then mm -hmm. nobody's going to, you know, uh, nothing's going to be resolved mm -hmm. because now you're just arguing over something. So mm -hmm. in this safe place that uh, um, for communication that you're trying to create, go into it with I'm just listening. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not trying to fix anything at the moment. I'm not trying mm -hmm. to I'm not trying to defend myself for what you're about to say. I'm just listening. I'm just listening to hear what you have to say. And I'm trying to really hear what you have to say. Mm -hmm. I, I do think, I mean, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I do think that it's okay not to defend your, like, well, the reason I do that is, but it's okay to say, I don't think like that about you. You know what I'm saying? Because that mm -hmm. is sort of a resolution, hearing that the other person doesn't feel the way we think they feel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no doubt. So, no doubt. so yeah. that's different than yeah. defending. No, I'm all in agreement with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just yeah, that's that different. you said something about me I don't like, so I'm about to stick my chest out mm -hmm. and defend yeah, what I, you know, my stance on that. That's that's mm -hmm. not the time for no, that. No, it is not the time. You will get nothing resolved, I can assure you. Not at all. Yep. Not at all. And you also said, number three, <laughs> to be aware of your body language and your approach. Um, you know, even after you've had those conversations, just being real careful um, again, this is something that we, you know, are talking about ourselves and just being really careful um, how we approach, how we, um, I feel like sometimes I can be super short and direct and um, almost, uh, I don't want to say a bully because I don't think I'm that far. I don't have a better word for it. But I also can be the whole opposite where I'm super like explaining everything, every point so that you don't misunderstand what I'm saying. And, you know, I just want you to know that I don't mean it like this and I don't, you know, I'm just trying to be helpful and I'm just, you know, because I also know that I have both sides because I'm really trying to work on that. And so, but I have to be really mindful um, to keep myself in balance and mm -hmm. definitely not um, come at you not that I can't be a strong person, you know, that whole strong woman thing. I, I, I am a strong woman and you value that in me, but my strength is not meant to like right. pounce on you. And so, so just being mindful of the approach, you know, and, and we've talked about that other, in other episodes, you know, you're approaching me as well about certain things. So, so we just need to, you know, that's the thing that we need to work on is your body language, your tone of voice, things that you really said earlier in the yeah. episode. Yeah. But. Yeah. Tone of voice can go a long way, uh -huh. you know, when you're trying to have these types of conversations, you don't go into it with that matter of fact tone of voice. You know, you do want to soften up your, you want to soften up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Sounds like, well, I ain't doing that. Well, you may not get the results that you're looking for. That's right. You know, you do need to, come to you know the person that you love you know with a different tone of voice than you would somebody outside the house mm -hmm. that you have an issue with this is the person that you're spending the rest of your life with that you formed that covenant that promise you know to love and to protect 
why would you want to come to them with the same attitude that you would for somebody else with somebody else outside of the home so just think about it this way if you want somebody to receive what you have to give them then you want them you want to give it to them in a in a nice manner you don't want to give it to them with an and attitude. a pretty package. They might, <laughs> exactly. They might not want to that's receive right. it if it's not, you know, in something that's, right. that's receivable to them. Stop mm-hmm. thinking about you, the deliverer, that's and right. think about the receiver. How are they going to receive this, what I'm trying to give them? Right, because in this scenario, we're trying to work through an issue. We're trying to work through a problem. Right. So it is different than regular, everyday, all the time conversations. Right. I mean, you just have to be... You know, extra little, extra careful. But it takes work. It's not a one-sided thing. It just takes work. I mean, right, both right. people putting in that work. Marriage all, is all about work. It's good, but it's all about work. Yeah. Um, and number four, it's funny. I feel like we keep, we get, we've been getting to these things in advance. But number four is get to the root of the filter. That's huge. Take the time it need yeah. is needed to unpack the whole thing. Yeah. And trace it back to childhood if you need to. Trace it back to your mama and your daddy. Do what you got to do to to unpack that thing because that's where you're going to get the victory. Yeah. Old mm-hmm. old relationships, you know, mm-hmm. that may have gone bad, you know, and you've lost trust with somebody else and mm-hmm. you know, go go through yep. all of that if you have to and then be able to have that conversation with your spouse yeah, and absolutely. say, "Okay, this is the reason why." You know, and get that out of the way. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And number 5, spend time forgiving each other for wrong perceptions. And the hurts that created the filters in the first place. I want to make sure I got that right. Um, but yeah, spend that time doing the forgiveness activities. You know, own your part. Mm-hmm. Ask for forgiveness. Other person, forgive. Um, work through the hurt. Work through the pain together. And the way Loving to each other exactly. And the way to mm-hmm. work through that is if that instance happens again. Yes. Don't go back to I thought you no. Let's mm-hmm. we'll stop. Let's pause. Let's talk about it. You know together. Remember body language, tone of voice, and say and just remind each other. You know that this is the thing that you're trying to work mm-hmm. through. You know so it, it may take some time. Remember there's probably years of that filter being there. It's not going to just stop off overnight. You know so this is the part that takes two people working together. Mm-hmm. You know um, understanding that your spouse may have a filter. You know, and you're the one who's affecting it by your tone of voice, your body language or something that you say specifically. So two people working together, you know, can help work through this situation. It's not just going to be on the person who has the filter. Mm-hmm. Right. It takes both of you. It takes both of it. you. That's right. Well, and then here, here we go again. So practice hearing without the filter. Yeah. Um, and you know, I hope you don't mind. I'm about to share a little bit um, over the weekend that <laughs> so in in this scenario so we've just gone through this we recognize okay we've allowed some filters to jump back on there that you know probably thought we didn't have or, mm-hmm. or thought we had worked through and here they are showing up again but you know maturely we were trying to handle this and so there was a scenario where we fell into one of those conversations and the filter was up and you mistook something that I said Mm -hmm. you thought I was doing something that or or you thought I had a motive that I didn't have Mm -hmm. in this scenario and you instantly caught it and apologized for it Mm -hmm. so that's what I mean when I say practice hearing without the filter you have to try to put the filter down but you have a history of using it but you have to practice putting it down so you can gain a history of not using it and if you find yourself with that filter back up Quickly own it, apologize, so you guys can move forward. That's so huge. It's, yeah. it, you know, or if somebody calls it out to you, I mean, you know, if, if I do it again, something, whatever, you know, and and Therese says, hey, you know, I, I, that's not what I meant by that. You know, I think you, I think you misread that one. You, then I need to say, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't even hear myself. Mm-hmm. But that's what it takes to get to the other side of that filter. Yeah, and I will say this before we move on, mm-hmm. if there's uh if this continues to happen you know even if you're trying to work Mm -hmm. through there may just be a genuine um issue of trust you know altogether and if that's the case then you need to go deeper into what's really wrong with you guys's relationship Mm -hmm. if you just don't trust that person with your feelings and Mm -hmm. you always have a wall up 
then nothing that you're trying to do with working your filters is going to resolve the issue. You right. need to figure out what that trust problem is. Yeah. Why do you have that wall up so tough and so tight that you're not letting your spouse in, you know, and able to, yeah. to help you work through all of that. So um, I did want to say that because the trust, mm -hmm. you know, if that's broken, then that can be a big issue. Well, and I feel like that takes on a whole different it life. Does. I feel like totally that's way does. beyond a filter. Yeah, that's what you I'm know, saying. Yeah, yeah that's a wall. That's a trust issue that takes much yeah, more intense yeah. prayer, uh, communication, slow and steady wins the race. Right. I mean, it takes yeah. a while to build that back up. Yeah, um, yeah that and we know because we've been there too. Yep, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. So just pay attention. Mm -hmm. You know, just listen yeah. and be, be honest with yourself and be honest with your spouse. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Great episode. Great episode. Bye, bud. Boom. Mm. Yeah. No, this is the end of our episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. Filters is something I feel like everybody probably has experienced at one. I mean, even your with your boss. I mean, relationships in general. Yeah. Parents and and uh, children, uh, bosses, yeah. employees, husband, wife. I mean, it. Any relationship is likely going to have filters in place at some point in time so we hope that this was helpful hopefully it's something that you can you know make actionable mm -hmm. in your own life yeah and um i know we have yeah. and so uh just really thankful for this opportunity yeah. yeah and i do want to say this too love covers a multitude of sin Amen. so if you really love each other then you should be ready and willing to work through this um this issue to bring your marriage tighter together and don't forget about the forgiveness aspect of it you know, don't just, you know, brush over it like, all that, you know, my bad, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No, take the time to actually, I'm sorry, please forgive me, you know, for holding that against you or that mm -hmm. filter so that you can be free from holding them accountable or holding yeah. that filter against them. You know, forgiving is freeing, Amen. you know, and so make sure you don't forget to forgive your spouse or forgive whoever that you're holding that filter mm -hmm. against. Um, they may not even know, but it's something that's eating you up inside. Right. And one of the ways to get rid of that is to be able to forgive them so that you can be free. That's right. You know, and, that's good. and not hold them or let it hold you any longer. So mm -hmm. I did just want to throw that out no, there. I thought good. that was Thanks. very important to add to that. Thanks for throwing that out there. That's good. All right. All right. Cool. So we thank you all for joining us again for another episode. Please make sure you check us out weekly. You know where to find us. Um, all of our favorite platforms and here on YouTube. Thank you all for joining us again. God bless you and we'll see you again next week.